the diminished scale for bass lines. All successful bassists use these, so stick around and I'll show you some tips on how to use this highly advanced scale in creating intricate bass lines. instructor for the online course I want to play bass.com and today I'm going to teach you how to use the diminished scale break it down just so you can use it for bass lines I'm not going to get into too too much um, in too depth because it's a uh, you know it, it gets pretty deep so there's not enough time in here so I'm just going to show you how to get use it for bass lines because it's got some pretty colorful tones in it and um, it definitely it, it can add to your bass lines as the dominant diminished this it can give you some sophisticated bass lines so definitely you want to learn the scale and know how to utilize it and learn a little bit about it but to get it too deep join my classes my course because it um, we dig into it there there's just not enough time to get into it here so again I'm done with the bass instructor for the online bass um, course I want to play bass.com so that's where I help um, aspiring bassists every day reach their reach their goals, um, whether it be working basis or just a uh, just a hobby basis. So subscribe down below and hit the bell notification. I have lots of videos like this already out, and I've got more coming. So it just um, it just helps me help you, and and also I've, I've got a question. So who has heard of the diminished scale? If you have heard of the diminished scale. Hit yes, comment yes, and if you haven't, comment no. It helps me, again, it helps me help you and see what I need to go over in the other videos. But um, So yeah, definitely hit that. Let me know yes if you've heard of it, and no if you haven't heard of it. And I can maybe put out some other videos, a little more depth on the initial um, diminished scale. But um, but yeah, definitely do that before we get started. So, um, so to learn the diminished scale without knowing all the diminished scale theory, um, that's what I'm going to give you today so I'm not getting into too, too depth so the diminished scale also referred to as the um, whole half scale is along with the other dominant diminished which is half whole scale that's, that's been around for a while even before western music I mean centuries it's been, it's been around forever so it's um, definitely you know there's I got discussing now there's arguments about it being an artificial scale but it, it's been there Forever it doesn't work with the overtone series, but um, it's it's before you know it's been around before all that. That it's a symmetrical scale, and um, learning the scale and using it is effectively and tastefully in your in your it, it will add to your bass lines. So um, some bass lines you should know that that bassists use all the time. Successful ones is the diminished scale. Um, for soloing as well, bass solos and, and mainly walking bass lines because the um, the uh, it, it's the um, diminished scale like jazz diminished scale jazz um, ensembles use those all the time. It's a big jazz scale, so the one six two five one you'll find that in there in two five one, and they'll throw that diminished chord in there, which it's it's jazz that defines jazz you know all day long so bass lines for beginners it doesn't have have to be only root notes you can learn you know you can um, extend your bass lines with these with knowing these triads these diminished triads and this diminished scale you don't just have to play root notes you've got to start somewhere so yeah definitely work on the root notes so when you're playing in that ensemble you're you're getting your time down your timing is down and Everything you do, use a metronome, but um, so start with the roots. But as you get to where, you know, before it gets boring and you want to just give up, throw this diminished scale in there. Utilize it, and it will add some, a lot of color to all your lines, and it just makes it more, more appealing. So um, the diminished scale pattern, um, the diminished scale pattern base layout, it's, it's an eight. Eight, it has eight different notes in it, um, and it's considered an octatonic scale 
as well because of the eight notes, the eight notes, octa and tonic, meaning the note, the tone. And um, the pattern is, like I said, they also call it a whole half step. It's, it's a whole step, half step, whole step, and it's symmetrical. So you can do that, that whole step. This is in C, C right here. You can do that, carry that the entire scale. Just from there, you're gonna play, you can play it all day long. Just remember, half step right here, I'm back at C the octave. Whole step, just remember the pattern. Whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step. So you can carry that that pattern all all day long. Whoops. And that's the that's what gives it the color, these these tritones that it carries. Actually, a, a flattened five. If you if you see the a diminished chord, it's um just a diminished. Just if it's a C diminished, it's just that fifth is diminished. It's down a half step. It's a flat five now. So that is that's your that's what makes it diminished. Diminished seventh, and like I said, it, it gets deep. Um, but that's you know. Sign up for my courses. We've got a whole section on the theory of, and music theory in general. We go over that in depth. So the triad, the C diminished triad is just right here. C diminished seven. It's that seventh of the major scale, but it's a flat, flat, it's a flat, flat seven. So there's two flats. And actually, in harmonically, it's the major sixth. written as a C diminished 7 and you'll know that you can use you can use that scale in there <coughs> to give it that color and here's, here's the color right here that flat 5 and that you know, just the tritone in there so that's that's the um that's the pattern of the of the um whole half step scale which which is referred to a lot of times as a whole half step scale sometimes they don't even say diminished scale because there's there's more than one diminished scale but you know they I define them as the dominant diminished scale and the diminished scale so there's two different ones the dominant which I've gone in two other videos you can check that one out I'll leave a link um, I'll put that in here be a video you can look at but it's the um, the dominant it's just basically this half step makes it dominant and this makes it scale um that's part of the diminished scale but um when playing over the one six two five one chord progression or the two five one chord progression a diminished chord may show up meaning the chord has a flat five or a flat flat seven and that's that's when you can play that's when you want to throw that that diminished scale in there whether you're just walking up to it <coughs> walking up into that next chord depends on the situation you know where you can use it or utilize it but it it definitely um definitely something you can you can throw in there and it adds so much color to um, that diminished scale jazz lineup will players use that a lot it's you know it's a big jazz scale now I mean they didn't it's been around forever you know way before jazz even was evolved but it's you know it works well you know they used it I mean even Greece and um it was a scale way back when some classical music used it but very little because classical music's more of a 
you know, just more of a appealing sound. They use a lot of overtone series. They use diatonic stuff, stuff that stayed in that overtone series, which um, there's more in my classes. And I'm going to be putting out a video probably next next few days on that um, overtone series as well. It just helps you know, you know, why these scales came about and, you know, later on because of that overtone but this is this scale came about way before you know overtone series and stuff like that it um you know it was just like i said it's just symmetrical that's they just they believed you know, back back in the day that you know it was just symmetrical so it wasn't the you know they didn't dig deep into the um overtones of each note and all of that to um to see how they work together so that's how they come up with those and later on later on years is when the major scale was was come up with drive and then um you know you've got all these scales so many scales out there you know but you just need to know what they are and when you can use them you don't have to like there's so many out there there's scales i don't even use there are scales that i don't even you know get into but you know they're there for a reason and you know, I will I get into most of them, and you know, if you have any comments or questions or anything, leave it comment down below, and I can look into if there's a scale you have in mind. But um, there's there's only a few. You can do so much with with a scale that there's only a few that are really appealing to the the masses. So that's you know that's um that's how it is. So that's. There's so many out there, but you don't need to know them all, or very few of them you will learn. So, so I, that's it. I guess um, I hope you enjoyed it, and hope you got something out of it. Hope, you know, out of the little, you know, this, if you want glad to send it to you and um like i said for more knowledge for becoming a well-rounded basis um become a full member full access member at i want to play bass.com and we dig into it and it's it's all there hundreds of videos a lot to learn um and a lot to learn from so it's all there and i'm here just you can hit me up anytime and I'll get back to you. So definitely check it out. I want to play bass.com. Look forward to hearing from y'all and have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe down below. Hit that bell notification because I've got more coming and they'll just it'll just notify you when they come out. You don't have to wait or search around for it. It'll come right to you. So all right, great. Thank y'all. Have a great day.